Hi everybody, it's Chainfire9001 here. Once upon a time, over 300 videos ago, I promised I was going to do a tutorial on editing the overworld in Lunar Magic. So here we are. We're finally going to do it. Before I continue, I should mention that this is the latest version of, of Lunar Magic. So uh, if you haven't gotten that yet, it was released in September 2009. So uh, if you don't have that yet, go to smwcentral.net and download it because it has some improvements over the previous version. So let's get cracking. We're going to open the overworld editor by clicking the castle button in the toolbar. And right away, here's the overworld. You've got the main map and the six sub maps. I believe you cannot add any more maps besides these seven. So if you're going to you're constrained to these seven areas, but that should be enough for whatever it is you want to do. So, how does the overworld work? Let's talk about that. Right now, I have this ghost house button uh, pressed. It's layer one editor mode. What is layer one? Layer one is everything that the game actually needs in order to function as far as the overworld is concerned. All the level tiles, including ghost houses, castles, fortresses, etc all the level tiles, all the pipes and stars, all that stuff is on layer one. Also on layer one are the pathways that Mario can walk on. If you want to see those, there's a button up here in the toolbar, and if you click it, all these blue and green and red lines and things appear. These are pathways that Mario can actually walk on. Usually when I have these uh, visible like this, what I'll do is I'll press the zero key, and that makes them transparent. And if you press zero again, it makes them non-transparent. I find that kind of helpful. So let's get rid of those. Next to that, there's another ghost house button with a star over it. It says layer one event editor mode. We're going to talk about events in just a bit, but uh, be aware of its existence. The next button is layer two event, uh, sorry, layer two editor mode. So let's click on that, and you'll see a bunch of stuff has appeared. There's a huge blue space over to the right. And then there are these three areas. This one, this one's number two, and down here, number three. These three areas that appear also, those are kind of important. Uh, so don't mess with those. We're going to talk about what they do later. Actually, you'll see it later, but in any case. Uh, this area down here that I'm highlighting is not part of Lunar Magic. This is something that I did in advance because editing the overworld is a long, arduous process takes a lot of time and for me to try and do something on the fly would be absolutely ridiculous but I will explain how I made this so I will demonstrate have no fear so layer 2 is basically uh, all the visual stuff that you see here aside from levels that I talked about all the visual stuff all the land the water the trees the forest the hills all that stuff the bridge that's all layer 2 it's just for it's just eye candy. It's just for aesthetic purposes. It doesn't actually need to be there for the game to work, but that's really what makes our overworld look nice. So next to that button is another hill with a star over it, and it says Layer 2 Event Editor Mode. So let's click on that. When you're in Event Editor Mode, either Layer 1 or Layer 2, you can actually view the events that are in the game. What is an event? Well, every level has a level number, you can also assign every level an event number. So when you beat the level, when you when you reach the exit, it will it will trigger an event. And you can set it so that things change on the map when an event triggers. So what we're going to do is this. We're in layer 2 event editor mode. I'm going to press the page up button. Two things have happened. First thing that happened is you'll see some red areas have been highlighted on the map, and in this case they're they're in uh, the Yoshi's Island submap. Second thing that happened is down in the status bar, you'll see it says event 0x1. 0x just means that it's a hexadecimal number, so it's event 1. So, um, if I press page up again, you'll see that now that red area has, it's no longer red, and you'll see that stuff has filled in. And no new red area has popped up because uh, event number 2 is the end of the switch palace and there are no new paths after that or because of that so if I press page up again haha there you see there's another event over there if I press page up again there's another one over there so I'm gonna press page down go back to the first one now if you actually wanna see these areas being filled in 
If you press the home key, you'll actually see the event step by step. So I'm clicking like that. There you go. All right, and if you keep going, you'll see more events. So basically, you can use page up and page down to go event by event, and you can use home and end to go literally step by step and break it down uh, between events. So if you press and hold page up, you'll see all this crazy stuff happening. Anyway, so uh, events are how the that that explains how the pathways appear when you beat a level. It's it's happening because of events. So the last thing up in this toolbar in this group here is the uh, sprite editor mode, and that just lets you move stuff around like the uh, the ghost that circles the ghost houses, and also the Mario sprite, which is it, which is what uh, this is where Mario enters on the overworld, and it's because of that little sprite there. So let's start editing. I like to start with layer two, so I'm going to do that. So how did I make this? Well, it's basically the same as uh, editing levels. You can highlight things with left click like this and then you can paste them with right click like that. Also up in the toolbar there's a group of three buttons here. The first one is 8x8 overworld tile selector window. These are all uh, layer 2 tiles. So everything you're seeing over in the uh, overworld and all these maps they're all composed of tiles from this window so you can find them all in here if you click on something in the overworld the appropriate tile pops up uh, in the tile editor selector thing and then you know you can flip it horizontally horizontally vertically both whatever you can also change its color but I think there are certain palettes you're not supposed to use but in any case so basically that's what I did here some of this stuff I picked out from the uh, tile selector window and then a bunch of stuff I literally just pulled off the overworld. So like this waterfall, I copied that and, and a couple other things. So I mean, we can do that some more, like if I want some more trees over here for some reason. Uh, let's clean up this one and then grab a couple more just for good measure, just because I like trees. Not really, but who cares? Which one is that? That's this one. I think. And then this one. Yeah. So, I mean, you get the idea. It's it's pretty self-explanatory at this point. And then... What else can we do? Well, uh, if I want to pull stuff out of the tile selector window, let's grab... Let's piece together this thing here. This little rock formation. So there's two. There's three. And there's four. So I can, oops, highlight this, move it around, make a couple of them. We can, uh, oops, fill this in like that. And I got some overlap there. You get the idea, though. So uh, just like when you're editing levels, if you have something highlighted on the map and you right-click, it'll paste that. So if something is highlighted and you've selected something in the window here, when you right click it'll still paste what's highlighted so just be aware of what your mouse is doing and that pretty much is how to work with layer 2 so I mean I can just start adding and putting more stuff in here and doing all kinds of weird stuff so play with it on your own make something happen and uh, I'm just gonna decorate I'm just gonna decorate essentially and when I get back I'm gonna put it where the main overworld map is and then I'm going to show you how to put levels in and put paths in and do events and all that kind of stuff. So, see you in part two.